Hello, welcome to Christy TV. Yes, the gentleman to my left is Gypsy George Carmen. He's come on my channel today to a call out. Yes, he's going to call a big, big name out in boxing. George, tell me who you're going to call out. The first one I'm going to call out, he's 59, I'm 59. He reckons he's got one more fight in him, I've got one more fight in me. Let's get it on. Well, come on then, tell us who it is. Big Joe Egan. Big Joe Egan. Oh, juicy matchup. Gypsy George Carmen v Big Joe Egan. Message out there for you, Big Joe. So tell me, George, how did this come about? Well, if you look at the media at the moment, uh, he's obviously he's making no secrets. He's challenging out Big John Fury. Big John Fury is a mate of mine. And uh, John's fit of nobody. John's a 10 round fighter. And at the moment, you know he's very busy with his own two sons at the moment. And obviously he ain't got the time. Yes, I will appreciate that. John Fury is very busy doing other things. Yes, he's very busy and a very popular man. So, um, and, and of course, as he said, with his sons. But you, uh, your son's an ex-professional boxer, now retired. Um, so you now have plenty of time on your hands. You've got the time. I've got plenty of time on my hands. And he thinks he's got one more dancing. Let's get on, Joe. Let's start dancing. <laughs> yeah, well, you will be about punching and fighting in that, no doubt. Well, hopefully. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. So for your viewers at home, um, Joe Egan's a very big name and he's a friend with Mike Tyson and he's recently called out John Fury. But the viewers at home, some of you know, you know, your ardent uh, fighters will know Gypsy George Khan because he was a good seasoned professional. But for the viewers who don't, just let me give you a bit of um, your background into George. George is on box record with 39 fights, but there's a couple missing and somewhere George believes in broad. So he's around 40 fights, around a 50% record, which sometimes don't seem a juicy, great, big, nice record. But let me tell you, this man had lots of fights at short notice, and he's been in some very, very good fights. He's actually challenged for five titles. You challenged against Everton Blake um, for the Southern Area title. You suffered, uh, you challenged against Louis Jen. You challenged against TJ. And you had a double title fight, two titles on the line, I believe, the Commonwealth and the WBC International against Chris Oka. That's correct, Joe. Yes, is that correct? Now, many many believe you beat um, Louis Gent. Now, Louis Gent, I don't know if you know, I'm in a great fight with Nigel Benn, one of the best world title fighters I've seen. Check it out. It's a very, very good fight. Many believe you beat Louis Gent. I've got a write up sound, unlucky calm, and you, so you're nearly a champion. Um, you went twice distance with two world champions. You went the distance with Johnny Nelson losing a fairly close fight on points. Yeah, over six rounds, I think, and you fought Glenn McCory over eight rounds. That's correct, Joe. And again, many people believe you was definitely unlucky not to get a draw with Glenn McCory. So you see some good pedigree there. Um, a lot of your fights were caught at short notice. But if you, um, if Joe accepts this fight, you go into camp. You told me once you never really ever had a camp for any fight at such short notice. Never had a camp in my life, Joe. It was always like two, three days notice. I fought Glenn McCory on the three days notice. Yeah. I fought for the Commonwealth title with four days notice. Yeah, I remember that. Two stone. Yeah. You know, I was beat before I went in there. But if you give me a 12 week camp, me and Joe, let's get it on, Joe. Yeah, so look, um, clearly there's a lot of stuff in the media where people want fights for financial gain. And that's, that's understandable. People work for money. You know, you, you're a prize fighter. You fight for money. But what is your real motivation? I'm going to say one thing. I'm not trying to knock professional boxers here. At the end of the day, it's don't do, obviously, professional boxes. I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not. I'm a whole man, I'm 59 year old. Joe's 59 year old. He wants one more fight, he said. He reckons, you know, show the Saudis, show, show the, the, the YouTubers. Let's get it on. Well, I think it'll be good for him. Yeah, I think it'll be good for him. And I think it's a perfect, look, let's be honest about it. George, you're a mate of mine. But it's a, it's a perfect, you're convinced you'll win. We'll come to that in a minute. But it's a perfect spin of a coin matchup. Looking at your experience, you, you touched the heavyweight division, just cruiserweight, you went into the heavy division. Joe's an heavyweight. Um, I don't think he fought the caliber of fighters, but he's barred with Mike Tyson. I think he fought Lennox Lewis as, as an amateur, I'm not sure. I think he did. And he didn't do too good against Lewis, I don't think. But he, he's fought quality fighters in the amateurs. You've fought quality fighters as a pro. It really balances as a 50-50 fight. And it would be, it would really see which one of the old boys could perform best. And I think that's where, um, what is the word I'm looking for? That's the anticipation, the what will happen, I think. And that's what sells fights, isn't it? It's, of course, let's be fair. They're not going to go and see Lennox Lewis and Muhammad Ali. They're going to see two old warriors have a go. But the fascination is, you know, they watch footballers and cricket players and everything. Now, the fascination is which one of these blokes near on 60 can still perform the best. And I think it will be a fascinating matchup. I'm not telling old men to fight, by the way, George. 
And I've been a fairly old man myself fighting, but it would be fascinating. Well, it's on my bucket list, so I'm going to do it before I'm 60 with somebody. And uh, why not Joe Egan? He's put it out there, you know, and uh, is that opening there to fight, and I'm ready. And give me eight weeks, 12 weeks, I'm ready to fight. Well, he's clear, he clearly said he wants to fight. Hello, everyone. I think I've got one last hurrah in me. I haven't fought in over 20 years. So if, he, if you're true to your word, Joe, and George wants to fight, I can hardly say he wants to fight a John Fury, but the George Carman's here, he's ready to fight. And that's it. It's, it's there on a the plate, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's a match to me. It's a, it's a great match-up, no doubt about it. When some of them, when you're talking Carl Fox wanted to fight John Fury and people 15, 20 years old and, you know, Mickey Fio wanted to fight people, and Mickey Fio had no boxing experience, and all respect him, he wanted to go in the ring, but this is a level playing field, and that's why you want a level, a, a challenging fight and a bucket list. All my life I wanted a 50-50 fight with somebody, you know, at the end of the day. I'm entitled to one 50-50 fight. He's 59, I'm 59. Let's get it on. You know, yeah. It's a sport at the end of the day. Uh, obviously, I've got, it's dear to me out, I want to do something for charity. Uh, and uh, cancer research. Why cancer research? Tell me. You, now, for the viewer at home, I know you, but tell us why cancer research, what you've been through. Well, I had a kidney cancer. Uh, fat out of kidney cancer about eight years ago. And uh, only boxing saved my life out of it. Uh, one day I was on a job and was touched sparring. My boy clipped me and realised I had kidney cancer. Went to hospital, got the kidney out, and I'm perfect today. So I'm ready to rumble. So are you are you clear? You run this with your family and doctors and You're 100% clear to fight? 100% clear. Right. So there's no excuse. You are bang on ready to rumble. No excuses. Yeah. So there, there you have it. Now, t tell us, um, go back to the Furies. Your mates are the Furies. Um, tell us how that friendship come about. Well, obviously I've do, I do the Furies all my life, been yeah. nice guys all my life. I'm talking about John, Peter, Yuri and the boys. And obviously when they got boxing, you, you meet them on, on, on different shows. And I've become a to help uh, young Tyson when he won his British title in the corner with uh, Yuri Fury. Did that Derek Desora win when he, Derek Desora, Desora. when he beat Derek Desora, yeah. And uh, but the most important thing then guys, they are loyal. And good guys. Uh, I remember when I had kidney cancer, I was in the hospital, and Tyson rang me up out of the blue, and he said, "I just thought I'd give you a ring to say I'm in your corner." He said, "You've been in my corner many times." He said, "I'm in your corner," and it meant a lot to me. Yeah, but they're, they're straight guys. Very nice, very nice. So that's that's the friendship. Um, well explained there. Yeah. So um, where would you? Who, who do you think? Going back to the Joe Egan fight. Um, how many rounds do you reckon you should fight? And seriously, at your age, what would you recommend it to be? If it's four, six, eight, ten, whatever. Uh, you know, I don't think he's done a ten round. I've done a few ten rounders. Yeah. But whatever you want to do. Yeah. Do you think it'd be more suited? Um, you, in all honesty, ten rounds is a long way to go. Yeah. And twelve rounds is a long, long way to go, right? Um, I've sparred that sort of stuff. I haven't fought, I was unlicensed, we were two minute rounds and stuff. But I do understand, I've, I've sparred with pros 10, 12 rounds. But it's a long way to go for old men. Do you think you'd see a better of you if you went over four rounds, three rounds or six rounds? Well, I think I think if we had four rounds, we could we'd put a good show on. We'd have, a good have show. more of a terror. We'd have, we'd have terror, yeah, total. -to we'd just stand total. -to but you would go any rounds, but it would make common sense. But all that stuff's to be negotiated if it comes out, which type of outfit would possibly promote this. Now Kelly Sherlin is very big and is uh, misfits. That seems one of the obvious and there's lots of fights going abroad, Saudi, Eddie Yearns. They're all making these fights happen, aren't they? I don't care, I'll fight anyway. UK or abroad? UK or abroad. Long as it's, long as, look, long as it's in a box, mate. Yeah. I'm a boxer at the end of the day. Yeah. It's a sport to me. Yeah. So is the motivation you, like you've been a prize fighter, you fought for money, of course, but what's the real motivation? Is it money, George, or...? No, it's not money. Uh, obviously, I want to make some money for charity, uh, so some of it would be going to charity. Yeah. That's, that's, that's one of the most things. You know, they've done a good job with me when they operated on me, and I can give something back. It's what I know, it's what I'm good at, so that's what I want to do. And very good. It's always a it's a great charity, you know. And they have so many people where they would have been no longer with us. But it's a great, great charity, a great cause. And um, you're one of the survivors yourself, thank God. 
Now, Big Joe Egan's got like good friends with Mike Tyson. He's even called out John Fury the other day. So he's clearly in his camp. And a big, biggest, one of the biggest names ever to it in world boxing. One of the most feared men ever. Who you got in your camp then to sort of stand stand up? I've got the Lord in my camp. You know, it's not by might, not by power, by the spirit says the Lord. You know, I will face him head on. I don't face him alone. I've got the Lord on my side. And when you're in that ring, it don't matter, you've got nobody, only yourself. There's two men gonna be in that ring, but I've got the Lord with me, so. And how convinced you're gonna win? I know you told me you've got a couple of secret weapons you are not willing to reveal, because it would be part of your tactics. How convinced you are you that you will beat Joe Egan and what is on paper 50-55 if it happened? I am fresh. I'm a fresh fighter. I may be a 59 year old and I've got speed. Right, well there's the message, Big Joe Egan. Um, as I said, it would be fascinating. These are not the only 60-year-olds um, to fight. Trust me, pushing on 60. There was a great bloke called Gypsy Jim Mace carried on fighting to that sort of age. It's not saying I've encouraged, but this gentleman has come here and he wants to fight Big Joe Egan. So there's a message out there for you, Big Joe. Get out there, reply. Gypsy George Carmen wants Big Joe Egan. Now thanks for tuning in. In the meantime,